This video demonstrates how to configure AP Mesh on Wagia Cloud. Visit the official website of Wagia Cloud. On the displayed web page, enter your username and password, and click Login. On the home page, click a project name. On the page that is displayed, choose configuration, device config, wireless, AP mesh. Ensure that mesh networking is toggled on. If it is off, toggle it on. Click scan to add devices to search for available APs. Select the desired devices from the scan results. Click pair and wait for the pairing process to complete. Check the symbol next to the device name to confirm whether the pairing is successful. Then click done. Click the AP name in the AP name column to modify it. Click detail in the operation column to view device details. Click eWeb to access the device's eWeb. The SSH button in the more drop-down menu is used only for creating tunnels to re devices, enabling developers to troubleshoot issues. From the more drop-down menu, select Web CLI. Then choose General, Connectivity, Running Status, Client, or WANLEN to view the corresponding details. Click More, and then click Tunnel. On the page that is displayed, you can create tunnels and view the local and global tunnel lists. Click More, and then click Ping. You can perform a ping test on the displayed page. Click More to view more comprehensive details about the device. On the monitoring page, there are three tabs, Overview, Log History, and Wireless Experience. Navigate to Configuration. You can configure VLAN settings, including AP interface configuration, port VLAN configuration, adding new VLAN, and viewing the VLAN list. Click RF power to configure the RF settings on the device. Then, click Save once the configuration is complete. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.